Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. Today I will be taking you through a stretch and balance routine. Um, feel free to grab a mat, go to somewhere that's carpeted, um, grab some water, and we'll get started with a short warm-up here in a few seconds. To begin, we're going to start with just a steady march. In our warm-up, we're kind of just going to get the blood pump in. We're going to do a couple of uh, dynamic moves, and then during the routine, we'll do some more static stretching, balance workouts, routines. Following this march, we're going to move into some jumping jacks in three, two, and one. So just right here. And for this, if you need, you can do walking jacks. So step to the side, up, step to the side. If you don't want to do the whole jumping jacks. All right, so we're going to continue this. And we're going to move into some high knees. So here, we're just going to bring our knees up. And again, a proper modification for this is just really extend your knee up, but you can do slower controlled movements or just do the high knees. Following the high knees, we're going to move into some glute kicks in three, two, and one. So here, you're just extending your leg back Again, at your own pace, if you want to go quicker movements or slow and controlled movements. We just want, want to get you real warmed up for this routine. Following this, we'll move into Excuse me. We'll move into our routine starting with squats. So five more of these. Alrighty, we're gonna start with doing some squats. Now we're gonna go down, feet shoulder width apart, shoulders, chest straight. We're gonna squat down to 90 degrees. Now for this to modify, you can just do less of a squat. Don't go the full 90 degrees. All the way down. This angle. Again, back straight, chest core tight. Go down. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to move into some opening and closing of the gates. So this is going to help work on your balance as well. But you're going to alternate legs and open the gates. <coughs> Two more each side, and then we'll close them. And there we go. Now we're going to close the gates, so you're going to bring your, your leg up and close out that motion. Again, focus on your balance when you're bringing one leg up. We're going to move on to some shoulder rolls and two more. One and two. All right, so now we're just going to focus on rolling the shoulders just like this. Start forward and we'll progress to move backwards.
we can switch to backwards in three, two, one. Our next stretch after this is going to be some arm circles. Again, we're just trying to open everything up, stretch out all these muscles, full body workout. We can begin with the arm circles in three, two, and one. So we're gonna start just nice and slow, slow forward moving arm circles. And as we keep going, we're just gonna get bigger and bigger. We can move to backwards now. Great job, guys. Keep it up. You guys are doing amazing out there. And we're going to get bigger and bigger going backwards. Focus on your breathing during all these exercises. Make sure to take nice deep breaths in and out based on the uh, motion of the movement. Now we're going to get into our warrior pose. So you're going to have one leg straight out, the other we're going to lunge with. Just do the warrior pose. You guys got this. We're going to switch sides in three, two, and one. So again, do a lunge with this with your other leg. Keep this one straight. After this side of the warrior pose, we're going to do a standing hamstring stretch, which we can begin at five, four, three, two, and one. So for this standing hamstring stretch, it's going to be one leg down with your, with your heel placed up like this. Just gonna reach down. From this angle, just come up like this. And we can go ahead and switch legs. This also helps work on your balance. We can go ahead and switch in three, two, and one. Now we're gonna move into a quadricep stretch. So right here, leg back. This again helps you focus on your balance. We're just gonna hold this for about 15 seconds on each leg. <coughs> You can go ahead and switch legs in three, two, and one. If you need to, focus on something still, like the ground or the wall in front of you. You guys are doing great back home. Keep it up. Keep, keep focusing on that stretch and balance. You guys got this. Following this, we're gonna move into a calf stretch, which we can begin now. So here, you're gonna keep your heel on the ground, toe up, and just slightly bend down towards that calf, towards that foot. You'll feel the stretch back in your calf here. We can go ahead and switch legs in three, two, and one. Really good work. You guys are doing amazing back home. 
feel free to grab water at any point if you need it. You guys got this. Following this, we are going to move into a tricep stretch, which we can begin in three, two, and one. So for this tricep stretch, put the camera back upwards. It's just gonna be one arm behind the head, just like this, other arm holding that in place and then just stretch out that tricep behind you. To stay moving during these two, we can do some side steps. The main point here is that you guys just keep on moving. You're doing amazing if you're doing that. We can go ahead and switch sides in four, three, two, and one. Again, just switch sides. Amazing job. You guys are doing great. Again, just stay moving, whether that be stepping back and forth, doing some side steps, a little walk in place. It's always great. We're going to switch to a bicep stretch in three, two, and one. So for this, you're just going to interlock your hands behind your body. And just hold it like this. Stretch out those biceps. Just like this. We're going to hold this for about 20 seconds. Really stretch out those biceps. Again, try to stay moving. Do some walks back and forth, some side steps. You guys got this, you're doing great. Following this, we're gonna move into a side bench stretch. So we can stop this in two, one, enough. So now for our side bench stretch, we're gonna have one arm on our leg with the other going across like this. We're just gonna hold this for about 15 seconds on each side. We can go ahead and switch in three, two, and one. Switch sides. You guys are doing a great job. All right, we can switch to our next exercise in three, two, and one. Now we're gonna get into some more balance work with some forward leg swings followed by side leg swings. So we can start balancing on one leg and then just forward leg swings. As a modification for this, you can go back to this neutral position every time. So swing and back, or you can just keep it going. We can go ahead and switch legs in three, two, and one. Following this, we're going to do the exact same thing, except it's going to be side leg swings, which is a modification. You can do that same thing as we did for these forward ones. Just get back to that neutral position. We can begin those now. Again, this really helps focus on your balance as well. Standing on one leg. So if you need, look at something on the ground, the floor, just to maintain that balance. We only have two more exercises on our feet, then we'll move into the ground. We can go ahead and switch legs. All right, our next exercise is gonna be a shoulder stretch. Just shoulder across the body in three, two, and one. So again, just pull your shoulder across, cradle it with your other arm. You guys got this, good work. We'll be moving to the mat soon. 
we can get a drink of water, a little break in there. Just keep on stretching, keep on moving, like I say. Do some side steps, some walks in place. You guys got this. We're gonna switch arms in three, two, and one. Our last exercise on our feet is gonna be lunges, which we can begin in five, four, three, two, and one. So now for these lunges, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go at a 90 degree angle with both knees. Now, modification for this is just don't lunge as far down, just like this. It'll be right here. Or you can go the full 90 degrees. We can take a 30 second break in three, three more reps. One, two, and three. Good job, take a 15 second break or so, and we'll move to the mat while I adjust my camera here. So we're going to start in a seated position. We're going to begin with just a sitting down hip stretch. So one leg out, the other across, and then turn this, turn the opposite way. Again, feel free to pause the video, grab some water, whatever you need to do. If you're using a mat, fantastic. We're going to switch sides in three, two, and one. Great job. You guys are doing amazing. Keep it up. Now for some of these ground workouts, you can use weights if you bike, but if not, it is not a necessity. Just a modification if you wanna make it a little more tough. So our next exercise is gonna be a figure four stretch. So we're gonna lay on our back with our right, one of our legs up and the other in front of it. Show you at this angle. So one leg up. Bend at 90 degrees, and the other in front. And we're gonna hold this. We're gonna switch legs in three, two, and one. Following this, our next exercise is just gonna be some shoulder squeezes. We're still gonna be on our, in this same position on our back. We can begin in three, two, and one. So, with these shoulder squeezes, we're just gonna to wanna to sit up. You're gonna extend your arms back like this behind your body, and then just squeeze your shoulders. It's exactly like the name of the stretch sounds. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Again, just interlock your hands behind you. Bring those shoulders back and squeeze them. Our next exercise is going to be knee to chest. So we're still going to be in the same position. We can begin in three, two, and one. So now for the knee to chest, you're going to have one leg straight. Pull your other knee to your chest. And then we're just going to hold here for a few seconds and switch legs. Great job, guys. Keep it up. You guys are doing great. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys are doing great. We're going to switch legs in three, 
two, and one. Keep it up, guys. Good work. The next exercise, we're still staying on our back here. We're going to do a reclined spinal twist, which we can begin in three, two, and one. So for this, one leg over the other, and then we're just going to have our back slight shoulders both on the ground, and then twist the opposite way to your leg. Hold it here. Focus on that twisting motion. We're going to switch legs in three, two, and one. Alrighty, guys, our next exercise. For our next few exercises, we're going to move to a tabletop position. We're going to begin with some bird dogs. So I'll show you from this view. You're going to be in this position right here. You're going to extend a leg with the opposite arm. And we're just here for about 30 seconds. Keep it up, guys. You're doing amazing. Again, for any of these, we can add some weight as well. Here you want to focus on a straight back, tight core, tight chest. Our next exercise is going to be cat cows, which is going to be in the same position. We can begin in three, two, and one. So for these cat cows, it's the same position, but you're going to arch your back up and then down, back up, and back down, up, and down. Great work guys, we only have about 10 more seconds of this. We can switch in five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're gonna do a plank. So for these, make sure your back's straight, core is tight. If you need, you can go on your knees, just like this as a modification. Plank like this, or just like I said, straight back, tight core. We're gonna hold it. After this regular plank, we're gonna move into some side planks. Again, feel free to go on your knees if you need. We're going to switch to a side plank in three, two, and one. Now, whichever side you'd like to go first, again, same premise, core tight, back straight. We're going to hold each of these for about 15 seconds. You can switch sides in five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, and go. Again, as a modification, you can put your legs on the ground, on your hip, hold it like this, otherwise, you're up. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna get into our final work workouts on the ground. Our first one's gonna be the child's pose. So we're gonna pose like this, and then you're just gonna extend your body towards the ground, just like this. Keep holding this. We're going to hold this for about 30 seconds along with the next two stretches. 
You guys are doing great. Only two more stretches on the ground. Keep it up. Our next stretch we're going to do is a cobra stretch. So you can just go from this pose to that in three, two, and one. So that same thing, just right here. Hands right under your shoulders. Just stretch up. As a modification, your hands can go farther from your shoulders as you need. We're going to switch to our last stretch, which is a sphinx pose. In three, two, and one. So for this, it's just the same as the cobra, except your stomach's on the ground as well. We're just posing like this. Last one, and then we're back to our feet for the cool down. Great job. You guys are all doing great from back home. We're going to stop in three, two, and one. All right. Back to our feet. Let me fix the camera. All righty. Now, grab some water. Do what you need to do. We're going to have four quick cool down exercises, each about 30 seconds, and that'll be it for today's stretch and flexi flexibility and balance session. So if we're ready, our first cool down is just going to be a light jog in place. If you want to, you can transition this more into a march. Just keep the jog in place. Following this, we're going to go into a standing um, forward bend stretch. In three, two, and one. So for this, we're just going to go standing forward bend. So feet shoulder width apart, arms up and stretch down towards your feet as far as you can go. We can do this five times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we're just gonna do a full body stretch. So we're gonna have arms out and up, and then down again to our feet. We're just going to do this five times. Five, four, three, two, and one. All righty. Now, for our last um, stretch movement, we're just going to do some side step touches. So for these, we're just going to step side to side, finish our cool down with some heavy movement. To modify this, you can go quicker and longer steps, or you can just stay in this zone. Keep it up. We have 30 more seconds, and then we'll finish out. We'll be done. Great job today, guys. We can finish this up in three, two, and one. Thank you again so much, guys. My name is Daniel. Um, I hope you enjoyed your flexibility and balance workout today, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.